Which of the answers listed below refers to a method for requesting a digital certificate? A. CBC B. CSR C. CFB D. CRL The correct answer is B. CSR what is the fastest way for validating a digital certificate? A. CRL B. Key escrow C. OCSP D. CSR The correct answer is C. OCSP which of the following solutions allow to check whether a digital certificate has been revoked? Select two answers. A. CERT B. CRL C. OCSP D. CSR E. Key escrow The correct answers are B. CRL C. OCSP A type of trusted third party that issues digital certificates used for creating digital signatures and public-private key pairs is known as A. Ike B. C. A. C. P. K. I. D. C. S. P. The correct answer is B. C. A. A situation in which an unauthorized person can view another user's display or keyboard to learn their password or other confidential information is referred to as A. Spear phishing B. Tailgating C. Shoulder surfing D. Spoofing The correct answer is C. Shoulder surfing In computer security, the term dumpster diving is used to describe a practice of sifting through trash for discarded documents containing sensitive data. Found documents containing names and surnames of the employees along with the information about positions held in the company and other data can be used to facilitate social engineering attacks. Having the documents shredded or incinerated before disposal makes dumpster diving less effective and mitigates the risk of social engineering attacks. A. True. B. False. The correct answer is A. True. Which social engineering attack relies on identity theft? A. Impersonation B. Dumpster diving C. Watering hole attack D. Shoulder surfing The correct answer is A. Impersonation What is tailgating? A. Acquiring unauthorized access to confidential data B. Looking over someone's shoulder to get information. C. Gaining unauthorized access to restricted areas by following another person. D. Manipulating a user into disclosing confidential information. The correct answer is C. Gaining unauthorized access to restricted areas by following another person. The practice of using a telephone system to manipulate user into disclosing confidential information is called A. Whaling B. Spear phishing C. Vishing D. Farming The correct answer is C. Vishing Phishing scams targeting people holding high positions in an organization or business are known as A. Vishing B. Blusnarfing 
C. Whaling. D. Bluejacking. E. Farming. The correct answer is C. Whaling. Phishing scams targeting a specific group of people are referred to as A. Vishing. B. Spear phishing. C. Spoofing. D. Whaling. The correct answer is B. Spear phishing. A social engineering technique whereby attackers under disguise of a legitimate request attempt to gain access to confidential information they shouldn't have access to is commonly referred to as A. Phishing B. Privilege escalation C. Backdoor access D. Shoulder surfing The correct answer is A. Phishing A fraudulent email requesting its recipient to reveal sensitive information, e.g. username and password, used later by an attacker for the purpose of identity theft is an example of, select all that apply. A. Phishing B. Watering hole attack C. Social engineering D. Bluejacking E. Vishing The correct answers are A. Phishing C. Social engineering An unauthorized practice of obtaining confidential information by manipulating people into disclosing sensitive data is referred to as A. Shoulder surfing B. Privilege escalation C. Social engineering D. Penetration testing The correct answer is C. Social engineering Which of the following answers refers to an undocumented, and often legitimate, way of gaining access to a program, online service, or an entire computer system? A. Logic bomb B. Trojan horse C. Rootkit D. Backdoor The correct answer is D. Backdoor Malicious code activated by a specific event is called A. Backdoor B. Logic bomb C. Dropper D. Retrovirus The correct answer is B. Logic bomb which type of Trojan enables unauthorized remote access to a compromised system? A. Cap B. Rat C. Moss D. PFSense The correct answer is B. Rat which of the terms listed below applies to a collection of intermediary compromised systems that are used as a platform for a DDoS attack? A. Honeynet B. Botnet C. Quarantine Network D. Malware The correct answer is B. Botnet a malware-infected networked host under remote control of a hacker is commonly referred to as A. Trojan B. Worm C. Bot D. Honeypot The correct answer is C. Bot Malicious software collecting information about users without their knowledge slash consent is known as A. 
crypto malware. B. Adware. C. Ransomware. D. Spyware. The correct answer is D. Spyware. What is adware? A. Unsolicited or undesired electronic messages. B. Malicious program that sends copies of itself to other computers on the network. C. Software that displays advertisements. D. Malicious software that collects information about users without their knowledge. The correct answer is C. Software that displays advertisements. Which of the following answers lists an example of spyware? A. Keylogger. B. Vulnerability scanner. C. Computer worm. D. Packet sniffer. The correct answer is a. Keylogger A collection of software tools used by a hacker to mask intrusion and obtain administrator-level access to a computer or computer network is known as A. Rootkit B. Spyware C. Backdoor D. Trojan The correct answer is a. Rootkit A type of software that performs unwanted and harmful actions in disguise of a legitimate and useful program is known as a Trojan horse. This type of malware may act like a legitimate program and have all the expected functionalities, but apart from that it will also contain a portion of malicious code that the user is unaware of. A. True B. False The correct answer is A. True A standalone malicious computer program that typically propagates itself over a computer network to adversely affect system resources and network bandwidth is called A. Spyware B. Worm C. Trojan D. Spam The correct answer is B. Worm.